It's like three days just passed in the blink of an eye and I haven't uploaded. So why not we tell another Yu-Gi-Oh! story time, one that's actually been close to my heart for a few years now, and it's been close to the Ultra Bowls for a few years now. I'm gonna start including this in every video. It just, it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. You don't know if he's gonna be on over here or on over here, or if he's gonna be with my ball. Or is that plural? If you guys like those little skits at the beginning of the videos, be sure to let me know with a comment and liking the video, hitting that taco bell, ding dong, subscribe button. Y'all know what to do. We're up to 716 subscribers. The channel is really growing and, and just thank you so much for all the support, truly. I know I say it in every video, but really, it truly does mean a lot to me. So Yu-Gi-Oh! story time, as you could tell by the title of this video. We're going to be talking about my diagnosis, specifically the rare cancer that I was diagnosed with back when I was 22 years old. Now that I think about it, I'm 25 now and I'll be 26 in October. Now, why am I making this Yu-Gi-Oh! story time? Well, I was actively playing Yu-Gi-Oh! during this time. I've been actively playing Yu-Gi-Oh! since 2008. Earlier than that, but I really didn't get competitive until 2008. And really, I started thinking about making this into a video uh, after going to Locals last night, which it had been a hot minute since I went and I was playtesting Flunderies for the regional in Georgia in May. And uh, there was just some stuff that really irritated me. Like there was one player there that was just a dickhead. Like he told me my round two opponent was playing Eldelich and I shouldn't have believed him and it didn't matter because I bricked anyway. But it's like, dude, you're gonna be a fucking asshole at Locals. Like fuck off, you know, like go touch grass. <laughs> um, but it, it really made me think like, you know, the reason why I, I get so angry and so competitive in Yu-Gi-Oh! is because I'm, I'm so passionate. And really, I feel like a lot of that comes from my diagnosis, um, which is that I was diagnosed with VHL, which is short for Von Hippel Lindau disease, which I've talked about on the channel a few times. Um, but in case you are unaware, since I mostly have only talked about like update videos for the channel and things like that, it is a genetic mutation that causes tumors and cysts to form throughout your body. And I was diagnosed when I was 22 years old. And uh, as the years have gone on, I've been diagnosed with multiple tumors and cysts. I may or may not have renal cell carcinoma, uh, which is a t certain type of cancer in, I think it's like your, your kidneys or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but... Luckily, I am on this medication called Wellareg. It's also known as Belzutifan. It's a fairly new drug that was just approved by, in, by the FDA in like September or something like that. And so um, I've been on that and things are good. And I've just been on medical leave from my full-time job, which is why I've been able to have time to make videos for you, the viewer, um, and be able to just enjoy my life and, and play Yu-Gi-Oh! So why is this a Yu-Gi-Oh! story? Well, like I said, I was actively playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I was in the community, you know, it's not like I was famous or anything or even famous today. It's just that Yu-Gi-Oh! has been a part of my life for a long time. Yu-Gi-Oh! has been a part of my life for a lot of things, even with this diagnosis. And it's interesting because, you know, you meet a lot of people throughout playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, especially if you travel to events, whether it's YCS, Nationals, even Worlds, you know, what have you. Hell, a regional qualifier that may be in your backyard. And we all come from different walks of life, you know. Some of us love Master Duel. Some of us, like myself, love dumping on Master Duel. Some of us love just trading. Some love collecting. Some like being competitive, like myself, and doing everything I can to get that victory within the rules. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we're not going to intentionally cheat somebody. And so having this diagnosis really rocked my world a bit. And I had to ask myself, you know, do I want to continue living my life or do I want to just be a homebody and not really go out often, not you know, do things that a normal human being should, whether it's going to work, going to school, or if you're in the UK, university, you know, what have you. Uh, or am I just going to live in a bubble because of this cancer diagnosis? And I say cancer because obviously more people are going to know what cancer is than VHL. Oh, it's VHL. Also, along with that, I'm going to have a link in the description down uh, to where I did a story on my diagnosis for the news station that I was working at at the time before I went on my medical leave. 
And so, you know, like any diagnosis, it, it has its ups and downs. And Yu-Gi-Oh! has really helped me a lot in that regard because of the fact that it's a way that I can escape. You know, instead of me having to focus on, you know, medications, uh, blood draws, and hemoglobins, and all these other doctor medical things, <laughs> I can focus on numbers. I can focus on sequences. I can focus on combos. I can focus on getting better at a game that I have played. Really, the first time I ever played it was with a friend of mine back in second grade when we were eight years old. And I was born in 1996. So what is that, like 2004? Yeah, 2004. So back in chaos control format with CED and Yada Garasu. And I really don't know what my life would be like without the game. I don't know how I would be as a person without the game. I've met so many great people on this still continuing journey over 10 years later. And I'm not going to let a cancer diagnosis stop me from doing that. Especially, too, that because the Wellareg is working so well, one of my tumors went from 1.5 centimeters down to 1.0 centimeters. That's a 33% decrease. And normally they start taking them out around the 2.0 to 2.5 centimeter size. And one of the tumors on my kidneys, it doesn't even show up on an MRI scan anymore, which is really, really good signs. I'm also active. I used to be a runner. Um... In, in track and field in high school, I did that my first year of high school, and I just like running in general, so I'm usually always active and things like that. You know, if we're not practicing flunderies combos, even though we even though we know that deck inside now, we're usually going for a run or we're working out or just enjoying our life. And so, you know, to to how do I put this? To tell somebody not to play the game because of one cheater, you know, or alleged cheating, like we saw at YCS Charlotte. Or to tell someone not to play the game because they got ripped off in a trade or whatever it may be. You know, one of the things that I told someone in the comment section on that YCF Charlotte video, which is blown up out of proportion. I thought it would blow up, but nothing like over 4,000 views. And one of the things I said to someone was that keep your head up. Because just because one bad incident happened, that does not represent the whole community. Yeah, I could be pissed off that some dude was an asshole dickhead liar at Locals last night. Or I can just live my life. You know, I was going to lose that game anyway because I bricked. You know, like it, it it didn't change the outcome of the game. Be different if we're at a regional, but that's all besides the point. I'm not going to focus on the negativity in my local Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Because let's be honest, there's negativity everywhere, right? Whereas I can focus on enjoying my life playing a card game that I love, seeing friends, making new ones. You know, one of the great things that I love about traveling to events is seeing friends I haven't seen in a long time. I guarantee you when I go to the Georgia Regional, I'm, I bet you, willing to bet my entire card collection, that I'm going to see someone there that I haven't seen in a hot minute, whether it's because they've moved, whether it's because they only play in their local area and only go to regionals, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, shout out to Derek Kingsley, aka Big Bruce 94. You better be at that regional pimp. We got a lot of catching up to do. Um, so, you know, even people like that, you know, Derek Kingsley, his brother or Michael, I mean, those were two of the first real friends that I made playing this game. I got to give a shout out to my buddy Greg as well, who, you know, took me under his wing for a long time, like a little brother. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's what keeps you going in the game. You know, a lot of people that quit the game, I've noticed that they tend not to have those connections and, you know, sometimes people quit too because of a diagnosis, you know, like mine, I could have quit playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I could have stayed in my bubble. I could have, you know, just dealt with four hour MRI appointments and just being in that machine and getting cooked up more than a lava golem, you know what I mean? But overall, even though that this story time is meant to be about my diagnosis, uh, it's it's a bigger picture than that. You know, the, the really the whole story is just that I was diagnosed when I was 22 with VHL. I had all these tumors and cysts. I still do. Luckily, they were all caught early. They were all benign. Recently, there were some tumors in my eyes, and I had two rounds of uh, laser. I call it laser therapy, but it was really laser surgery to get them to shrink and to eventually be removed. And so my life is good. You know, I, I mean, I never thought at 25 that I would have the financial security that I do, despite my diagnosis, that I would drive the car that I do, a 2021, 
Yeah, 2021 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Wide Body with a Shaker Hood 392 Hemi. Very nice car. <laughs> um, not trying to gloat, just to make the point of life is good. And if Yu-Gi-Oh! can also be another positive thing, despite the negatives that happen, no matter what community you're in, whether it's Card Fight Vanguard, Y Shores, if you're part of a club, whether it's in school or a sports team, there's going to be negativity. There's going to be drama. But the question you have to ask yourself is, what are you going to do yourself personally about that? Are you going to let that negativity push you away from the game? Or are you going to be that person who's just in a good mood and is positive and just, you know, ignores it. And I can tell you right now, if people are causing drama in your Yu-Gi-Oh community, that's a problem with them because that's all that they have to do in their life. And it's a sad reality for that person. You know, if they have to cheat, if they have to steal, if they have to lie, if they have to cause drama in a children's card game, they're the ones with the problems, not you. We all deserve to enjoy the game, and we all deserve to live a good life. It may not be something that we're guaranteed in life, but if me, someone with, let's just be blunt about it, cancer, can enjoy his life and play this game and have two regional tops under his belt, I might add, who's to say that you can't? Guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this Yu-Gi-Oh! story time. I hope that you got something out of it, hopefully a little bit of inspiration. That's what I was shooting for in this. And um, let me know if you want the story times con to uh, to continue. I know that this wasn't really telling stories, but um, I, th I thought that it needed to be said because it's not really something I've tackled. I've brought up in the past, but it's, it's not something I've sort of taken by the horns and said, this is my diagnosis. And if you see me pissed off in an event, it's not because I'm mad at you. It's because I'm mad at myself because I want to be the best player I can be while at the same time also being the best person I can be in life. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Also, I may be pissed off because I lost due to a hand trap. I still think Ash Blossom needs to get hit. <laughs>